deals, discounts, and incentives, you're asking, is this guy ever going to get off the topic? Not for the rest of your natural life or until we get out of this marketplace because it's on the buyer's mind. All right, now how do you answer the buyer? Remember, I told you to save it as a closing tool, not is your opening statement. What do you say to a buyer when they ask you, what are your deals, discounts, or incentives? What you have to do is this, is you have to understand that they're looking for the dollar figure. You're trying to give them a value proposition. What's a value proposition? What you actually offering the buyer. So you have to get them off of that very quickly. Don't give them a dollar value. And so here's the way it would go. You give them a description of your value proposition. The customer comes in and says, what kind of deals, discounts, and incentives you have? What do you say? We have an impressive home, a fantastic location, phenomenal schools, spectacular customer service. We're an energy star builder. Boy, do we have a lot to offer. Question. Did I give you a dollar figure? No, I gave you the value proposition. You see, you've got to have a basis of value. So let me go back over that with you. What kind of deals, discounts, and incentives do you offer? We have an impressive home, fantastic location, phenomenal schools, spectacular customer service. We're an energy store builder. Boy, do we have a lot to offer. Not only that, when you find a home you particularly want to own, when you find a home you particularly want to own, I can discuss some tremendous finance incentives with you as well. Did I give them a dollar figure? No. I gave them the value proposition. You see, the dollar figure means nothing without the value proposition. All right, next phase is this. What if they press you and they go, come on, man, what do you have particularly? Here's what you say. Well, we have nothing that applies across the board. What do you mean? Well, we have nothing that applies across the board. Our incentives vary from home to home. When you select a particular home, then we can give you the incentive as it applies to that one. Now, do we have discounts and incentives? Yes, they can be substantial. They can be from thousands of dollars, maybe tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of dollars, maybe thousands of dollars. It doesn't matter. You pick the number, but it doesn't matter. You have nothing that applies across the board that they must go out on the site and pick something out. So, do you have any deals, discounts, or incentive? Well, nothing that applies across the board. So a lot of things get, that can impact what we're giving away here today and what we're offering today is special incentives. You see, when we say we have nothing across the board, it depends on a lot of, a lot of factors. One, when are you moving? Time frame can affect it. Folks, if you want a home that's built right now, we might have a great incentive on that one. Conversely, if you say, I want to go through the building process, well, that could be a whole different incentive. So it's going to be based on location in the neighborhood, lot premiums, everything. But we've got something special for each and every home. What we need to do is go pick something out that you particularly want to own. Now remember this, new home sales is a process of getting them down to one of a kind. Can you get them down to one of a kind if you give the incentive sitting in the model and you don't take them out on the site? No. So nothing across the board, out on the site. Remember, the incentive is a closing tool, not the opening statement.